Aston Martin recently hosted press drives for the new DBS Superlegra in Germany. On the sidelines, Motoring spoke to the carmaker's chief creative officer, Marek Reitman. Answering the question of whether the coming mid-engine rival to the Ferrari 488, Lamborghini Huracan, and McLaren 720S could revive a very important name for the brand, Reichmann responded, without saying yes, that sounds like a plausible solution for a beautiful name like Vanquish. The Vanquish name first appeared from 2001 to 2007, returning from 2012 until retiring again this year on the Vanquish S, pictured. Although it's historically been used on the most powerful vehicles in Aston Martin's range, and both of them V12S, the latest flagship switched to two erstwhile monikers in combining DBS and Supelegra. Reichmann said the switcher better reflected, the DBS, positioning than Vanquish. The future V-named coupe will be out to conquer every vehicle in the segment, not just in the family lineup. Still light on details at the moment, we expect the Mercedes-AMG sourced 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 behind the seats, boosted by an electric motor. Reichmann didn't shoot down the possibility of using an electric motor for EAWD capability and all-electric driving. That motivation will power a body expected to go heavy on carbon fiber, active aerodynamics, and the wind cheating prowess gained from partner Red Bull Racing and aerodynamicist Adrian Newey. After reiterating through 12 scale models and three full sized mock ups so far, the creative honcho said the final car will be the most beautiful mid engined car on the road. The coming Vanquish will be car number 5 of Aston Martin's second century plan, aiming to deliver seven cars in seven years. The Aston Martin SUV will be the fourth when it enters production late next year, after the DB11, Vantage, and DBS Superlegra. The mid-engine screamer follows in 2020.